Hello, I'm Anna Napoli for the Finance News Network and joining me at our Sydney studios from Alpha HPA is Managing Director Remus Kairatis. Remus, welcome back. Thanks very much. Alpha HPA is focused on the chemical processing of aluminium feedstock into high purity alumina or HPA. How's the business progressing? Very well, thanks Anna. It's been a busy 12 months for Alpha HPA. Um, this year we've run the pilot plant and we're close to finalising the DFS and we're you know, keen to deliver the DFS and move on to the next stage of the business. Thanks Remus. And for people unfamiliar with the HPA, where does the product actually go? So HPA is a specialised market. Um, its key current market is for the production of sapphire glass and the use of LED lights. But the big growth market and particularly the growth market that Alpha is looking to pursue is in the use of lithium ion batteries and in the application of coating separators inside lithium ion battery cells. So we see that uh, market demand as enormous and effectively one to one linked with the take up of electronic vehicles. And turning to your pre-feasibility study, what's the project forecast to deliver and what interest have you received? The PFS was delivered in November 18 and updated in March 2019. Uh, the metrics of the project are, are very strong. Um, very compelling, around $200 million of free cash per year, and that really put the business on the radar of a bunch of investors and funds. Um, obviously, that, that will be updated in the definitive feasibility study, but we're not looking at too much of a change from that. Um, essentially, it's a very robust financial business underpinned by a very smart technical process. And Remus, what can you tell us about the pilot plant and the timeline for the DFS? So the pilot plant's been running effectively since July uh, 2019. Um, and the pilot plant is all about de-risking the process, demonstrating the process at pilot scale. And it's been a very successful pilot campaign, um, effectively completely validated our process and delivering very high purity, greater than four nines purity, high purity alumina, consistently over the course of that time. The key chemical outputs of the pilot plant feed the DFS study. At the moment we're still targeting December 2019 for the DFS delivery um, and we're pushing hard to get that in, out on time. And finally, Remus, where would you like to see the company this time next year? Well, we'd like to see the company valued at even 10 or 20 percent of the implied valuation of the DFS. Um, we think any company capable of delivering anywhere near $200 million cash flow um, per annum um, at a maintainable basis should at least be you know, 10 or 20 percent of a time, eight or nine times earnings multiple. So if the company is valued around eight or $900 million, we'd be delighted. Remus Kairatis, thank you for the update. A pleasure. Thanks, Anna.